I know it's going to work. So, you see? It's yeah. Recording. yeah. Now it's recording. And you should be able to move around and it should keep the same position. So, but try to get as close as you can. Try not to get like everything else. How's it going, guys? Teach me grappling. Is this cool? Yeah. All right. Um, welcome to the channel. And uh, what I have for you guys is a, a brand new camera that you cannot see. But hopefully, you can see the, the camera lens. I hope all this looks really cool. So it's new. Go ahead. Let's move it a little side to side. You can move it. You can move it. Yeah, look at that. Is it smooth or it's no? It's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth? Yeah, okay. like it's on a gyro. So, all right. Okay, so here we go. We're going to show you guys. Uh, we did a butterfly guard, and then we did an arm drag. I'm just going to show you guys a quick variation. Hopefully, this camera work comes out good. Alfred, make sure you get the, some good angles, good shots. All right, so watch this, you guys. I'm going to do from the butterfly guard. Remember, I want to get my underhooks. If I was on my back, I want to extend and sit him up. And then when he pummels inside like this, I want to try to take advantage of the, the arm drag. So when I take advantage and I start my arm drag, I want to get here. I'm going to activate my hooks and I'm going to scoot myself in a little bit and get a good grip on his back. Now, what I showed last time was the obvious basic arm drag. When the guy pulls his arm back, maybe I scoot and I secure the hook. I take this one out and I get up and I take his back. That's what we did last time. This time I'm gonna do a variation that you can use sometimes, which is really fun to do. And it, it's, it, 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 you're gonna use your butterfly hooks to lift your opponent and basically flip your opponent in the air. So again, out of the fight, like a lot of times I'll have the underhooks, I'll move right here going straight into arm drag. You can use this grip, you can use this grip. It doesn't matter. Either one is very, very good to use. So you can use either one. Sometimes what I do is like, out of this position, sometimes I go to a two-on-one like this, and then out of this two-on-one, he's fighting me a little, I scoot and I put in the arm drag, okay? So sometimes you see that angle over here? See, sometimes I'll, I'll be in here with the underhook, and if the guy tries to pummel inside, I'll go here, and then go into the arm drag. So once I have the arm drag here, activate your hooks so the guy can't jump over your, your legs. If he tries to jump over, you're like really strong with your hooks. Make sure your hooks are good. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drag the arm and go to the back, and then I'm gonna shove my butt in like we did on the drill. I shove my butt in, and I lift. Once I lift, what I'm gonna do is, the left one is gonna kick out, and the right butterfly hook is gonna become the hook on this leg. So this one's gonna swivel out, and I'm gonna flip, basically twist him and flip him into my, my back control. Okay, now come and walk around over there. That's what you wanna see. So when I landed, I landed right with the two hooks and the seat belt, and I'm already gonna go for the choke, okay? So this is a fun one to do. I'm gonna show a couple variations of the same move, but the first one, again, is gonna look like this. I have my double underhooks. I'm trying to pull the guy, the guy's free me. I go to a two-on-one before he gets an underhook. I can't let him get to there. I go to a two-on-one, for example. I go into the arm drag. The guy's trying to fight to get away, or maybe he's trying to pass, it doesn't matter. I drag and I go here. Then I pull him up, twist the guy, and go for the back. Now that's using the arm drag. This move can be done also with a body lock. So sometimes I'll move the guy's arm across, and I'll stuff it inside, and I'll get a body lock. But I have a body lock, and his hand is stuck. Sometimes I can do this, and I can keep it so tight that he can't pull his arm through, like that. If you ever catch a guy, you bring him down and you lock, the same thing will happen. As he tries to pull himself up, I'll pull him up and twist, and I don't even have to change much at all. Just my lock into a good seatbelt lock, okay? I don't get that one often, but it's a similar variation that you should know. Another great one, again, another one that you'll see Marcelo Garcia use, is he'll get the two-on-one, okay? Just use the two-on-one. Don't even use the arm drag grip. Maybe I was here, I had the double underhooks, the guy started a fight, and I went to the two-on-one, and literally, as he pulls back, here, I'm gonna pull myself in. And I literally spin him just with the two on one. Once I'm here, again, I didn't immediately throw the hook, but I have the one hook. Remember, if he, I'm gonna add this detail that we did on the other uh, video. If he pulls the knee to the chest and you feel like you can't get the hook, remember what we do. We put our foot on the mat, we hip escape a little bit. My heel, make sure you pull it into the groin so that he can't get the bottom hook out. So if he tries to wiggle his hip, it's hard for him. So as I scoot, then I lock the single hook and then he's balled up, so I can't do this. So I extend him first. I'm sorry, coach. 
And then once I extend him, as he's trying to pull his left knee to his chest, it's really hard, and I put the hook in. Now we got our back control, we get our four points, and then it's up to you if you want to keep the single hook. If the guy starts to twist, you can always flip, lift the hook, and then go back to single hook until you get your choke. Once you get your choke, then it's up to you. You can go back to two hooks and then extend and finish, okay? So last time, I'll show you guys again. Remember, this cool little back take, instead of doing the arm drag and taking your hook out and scooting around, if you got good hooks and the guy's pulling back, he pulls his weight onto his base, we want to shove our butt in, lift, spin him, and take the back. That's one with the arm drag. Then you've also got, sometimes you'll, you'll throw a guy's arm across as you get an underhook, and you'll scoot in with a lock as he tries to pull his arm back. You're keeping it tight. Okay, scoot in, flip him, take his back right here. Okay, seat belt. And then the last one, just using the two-on-one itself, just two-on-one grip. I like this one a little bit more than this one, but this one will work too, okay? So again, the way I get this, a lot of times, is when he puts the frame. If he frames my neck, as I go back, I'll put my hands on his arm, so he can't pull it away, and then I change my grip. Now that I have my grip, you see how his base is on his knees? I wanna take him off my base. I can't do that by pulling, he's too strong. So I shove my butt in, and then I flip him. Maybe you guys go right into the truck and finish here, go into the twister, just showing you guys some fancy stuff, or you go for the back, finish traditional, okay? All right, this is our first test with the new camera. I hope the, the camera looks good. I wanna thank all the contributors out there. Patreon, click the link down below. All of you guys that have been clicking that link, remember, this is you right here. I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. This camera system is uh, fairly expensive. Um, we just got the, uh, the GoPro Hero 7, and we got it with the gimbal, so everything's all smooth, and it should look really good. So, thank you guys so much. All you contributors, I wouldn't be able to do without you. You guys are making this channel better. And over the next few days, we're going to be doing the t-shirt raffle and the rash guard raffle. So stay tuned in the future. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Timmy Song. Thank you. All right. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Was, cool. it, was it 10 minutes? I don't know. I think it's close. Oh, no, it's only seven. It's okay. It's only seven, Timmy. Smooth. It's cool. Did we get some good? Did you get in close? Yeah, I got pretty close. All right. Hey, guys, this is the guy you got to crucify if he didn't do a good job. <laughs> Go ahead. Hit him up on the message board. Hit it up. Talk about him. His name's Alfred. Oh, look. 100 pounds of power right Just here. kidding, guys. Ah. I don't know why this thing...